Welcome to the channel. We're gonna be doing a video on me changing the clock spring and uh, upgrading the steering wheel on, this is an 06 Duramax. So factory, this is a kind of a weird model and I'm not really sure why, but it's a GFX. Doesn't have the buttons on the steering wheel. It did have the GFX on the leather here and it says it on the VIN. So uh, I don't know, I've never seen one like that, but. Anyways, I'm going to switch out the steering wheel and the clock spring to add one that has all the all the buttons. So I got a, I got the steering wheel and the clock spring from a truck that had the steering wheel controls and everything. So technically it should work as long as it has all the hookups. I think I I have not tried it before, but either way it looks so much better with the with the steering wheel buttons and this steering wheel is kind of worn out looking so the rest of the interior is well it's kind of dirty right now but it's all redone so and don't mind the front window i may have hit it with a hammer but i have a new one that's coming that's tinted but so first we're just going to do is just unhook your battery or unhook your batteries because uh we're going to be unhooking the airbag and stuff so so to get the airbag out, you just use an I just use an Allen key, and you can kind of feel it in here. Just pull back on the airbag a little bit, and it'll just pop out. So it just comes out like that. Good. So the steering wheel is just a 21 mil. Off here. And uh, you might need a steering wheel puller if you just wiggle it sometimes. Let's pop off. Okay, so we're just gonna pull the, I just pulled the cluster out, and then these just come apart, pretty much. Flip it back out here. So to get the rest of the wiring out, I gotta pull the bottom cover off. So it was just two seven mils and a ten, and then off here. And then you can kind of see the rest of the wiring in here. So to pull this ten mil out for that cover. So to change the clock spring, you're just gonna have to go, and it goes back to here, plugs into there. And I think one wire runs here and then one goes down to your uh I think it goes down somewhere down here to the for the airbag. So this unhooks here. So there's just a snap ring that holds on the clock spring. So don't need that. And then just one more clip up here. And a couple of little clips on the back and then it should all come out. Everything we should need for this. So it comes with this little orange tab, it lines it up, but it should just line up here. And then you can add the little snap ring. Okay, 
Also, I was wrong, so it actually goes like this. You look, see that there, but it slides in that way. So everything plugged back in should, so see if we have steering wheel control. So I just installed the steering wheel, everything else is hooked back up. We can put the airbag back in here. Plugs in, you just push it back in. And I can hook your uh, battery back up. We'll see if my airbag light went away now. I had a broken clock spring. Install your covers again now. Install the covers and you're good to go. There's a few other little zip ties I got to do on the bottom, but besides that, it should be good.